you go around and you judge. And when you judge, you're too proud or too humble to admit what you see in others inside you. And you end up having these voids of disempowerment and disownment. And these voids leave emptiness. And so if you don't live by priority, you go down there and you live in the hell, you might say. Uh, obviously, when you think of the top, you think of the top of a building or a top of a individual or anything that's on top. Um, but I want you to think about these languages. Top is obviously implies moving upward. And tip, believe it or not, means crest or summit or to overrule. But it also means gratuity and to be thankful, which is correlated. These words and etymologies, I love etymologies because they give a very clean insight to how to live your life, really. So a tip is a gratuitous state, a sharing of thanks. And the top tip means how to get to the top through gratitude and how to crest and summit and overrule and to rise. And you might say how to get to the peak experience. And what's interesting is then, it, then I, in the title, I have top tips to get ahead. Ahead is also at the top. Your body is made out of a, a cranial caudal, head, tail. Cranial means the brain, head, capital, uh, and the caudal is the, the tail, the back. You have foresight, hindsight, getting ahead, getting behind. There's a terminology there, etymologically. So anything that allows you to get ahead um, that takes you to the top which gets you to the tip of life's experience, to the summit, um, is correlated here. So this title even has meaning to it. So I just want to start off with that idea because uh, your goal in all probability is to expand in maybe, or if not all, seven areas of life, our spiritual quest, our mind development, our, our vocational, our, our financial, our familial, our social, and our physical. <clears throat> and the way to do that, believe it or not, is to get to the top or head of the situation. Now, you've heard me state before, if you've listened to any of my talks, that I talk about that every human being has a set of priorities, a set of values in their life. And whenever they are living in the highest values, the top priorities, not the lower values, not the lower priorities, but the top priorities, the blood glucose synoxin goes into the forebrain not the hindbrain, the head, not the tails, towards the tip called the telos or called the telencephalon, the front of the brain. So anytime we're filling our day with the highest priority actions and doing what's most important, most meaningful, most inspiring, most priority, we automatically get the blood glucose and oxygen into the forebrain. And when we do, that part of the brain is involved in inspired vision, strategic planning, objectivity, self-governance, and to execute the plans. And that's how we get ahead, by starting out, by living by priority. <clears throat> Anytime we're filling our day with high priority actions that inspire us, we move ahead, we get ahead. And whoever is most effective and efficient in their highest priorities leads they automatically wake up their leadership capacities because whoever's more effective and efficient in their actions of top priorities that serve the greatest number of people are the ones that end up the leaders and end up the ones that, that at the, they capitalize on it. To capitalize means to get ahead. The kaput means head, to get ahead. They, they, in in uh, economics, capital comes from kaput, which means heads of cattle. That's why they still have the bull market going up, the head of the bull versus the clawing of the bear going down. So in the process of prioritization, if we fill up our day with high priority actions that inspire us, our day doesn't fill up with low priority distractions that don't. When we do low priority actions, the blood glucose notion goes into the hindbrain. When it goes in the hindbrain, instead of going to the executive center for inspired vision, it goes into the amygdala and the spinal reflexes for reflexes, conditioned reflexes. 
where we go into impulses for immediate gratification and instinct to immediate voiding of pain. So we are literally avoiding the challenges and seeking the easy path, which is not the most efficient path. It's the easy path, but it's not the most efficient path. And so in the process of doing that, we automatically go into follower. See, a leader leads, that's the head, that's the tip, that's the top. The follower's behind, that's walking in what's behind, if you will. So there's a very simple process. Our brain is set up in a hierarchy. Our priorities are set up in a hierarchy. And if our actions are filling the highest priority things, not the lowest priority things, we get ahead. We get to the tip, we get to the top, we get to have capitulation. We get to go towards the cranium. We get to use our brain. We get to use creativity. And every time we're living in our highest values, our space and time horizons grow. We get a bigger vision because we're inspired by a bigger vision. Why? Because we are procrastinating, hesitating, and frustrating when we live by lower values, but we're disciplined, reliable, and focused in our highest values. My highest value is researching and teaching. I do it every day. I don't need to be reminded to do that. I love doing it. It's intrinsic. We spontaneously do what's highest in value. If we are doing that, now, what stops us from living that way? The only thing that really I found that stops us is judgment. You might want to write that. The judgment is what stops you from living at the top. When you are judging somebody and putting them above you and put them on a pedestal, and then you end up minimizing yourself in return, you're automatically putting yourself second, not first. When you do that, you're automatically uh, raising their power and minimizing yourself, you're self-depreciating. That automatically means you're going to inject their values into your life and try to live by somebody else's values, which disempowers you. Trying to be somebody you're not is not the way to do it. Being second at somebody else is not the way to lead or get to the top. So judgment, the sense of exaggerating somebody else and minimizing yourself, and you're too humble to admit what you see in these people around you that you exaggerate, you automatically shrink and you end up at the shrink. And that takes you back to your tail. You're, you're a victim of history, not a master of destiny. And the other form of judgment is when you put people down. Whenever you put people down, you tend to project your values onto them, try to get them to live in your values. They're not going to live in your values long term. So you're going to be frustrated, procrastinate, hesitate. You're going to be aggravated. So anytime you distract yourself by impulses of putting people on pedestals or instincts to avoid people you're putting in pits, you're automatically distracting yourself from the highest priority actions that give you the tip and top and crest and summit and in a sense overrule. You automatically are the governor when you're living in your highest values, you self-govern. That's one of the things about the executive center, which is a media prefrontal cortex. That area is involved in self-governance. And what's interesting is that area, when the blood glucose and oxygen goes in that area, it literally sends fibers, nerve fibers down into the amygdala. It releases GABA, which is inhibitory and glutamate, and it controls and regulates the impulses and instincts that normally distract us when we judge. And we automatically are not distracted. We have a clear consciousness. We have focus. We're present. We're certain. We're not wobbling with these distractions. And we end up at the top. So that I can't, I can't emphasize how important it is to ask yourself, what is the highest priority action I can do today that can help me fulfill my mission on earth? Your mission is an expression of your highest value. That's your purpose in life. Your purpose is always, there's no collective purpose because each individual has a unique set of priorities and values but there's an individual purpose, the one that gives you the most meaning, which is your highest value. You have sensory neurons, interneurons, and motor neurons. The sensory neurons are for perception, the inner neurons are for decision, and the motor neurons are for action. One of the most magnificent things you can be doing in your day is to fill your day with high priority actions. And when you fill your day with high priority actions, you get your motor neurons working at the top of your brain. And you got to tip on the top of your getting ahead happening. But what happens is in your sensory perceptions, whatever happens to you, you may not have control over what happens out there, but you have control over your perceptions of what happens. So if you ask yourself on a daily basis, what specifically is happening to me? And then how specifically is that helping me fulfill my highest values? Once you perceive that whatever you're sensing is on the way and in line with your highest values, you get back up to your cortex again, back up to your executive center again. And then the decision-making is deciding, do I want to just change my perception or change my action? If I fill my day with high priority actions that inspire me, I go to the top. And if I change my perception of whatever's happening to me, I stay at the top. 
And that's one of the great things in the Breakthrough Experience Program, I teach people how to do both of those because those are two most resourceful systems and knowing how to make a decision, which one is the one to use in this moment? Is it wiser to go and do what you love and delegate the rest? Or is it wise to change what you're doing and change your perception of it and turning into something that's engaging? You know, when I go into companies and I help screen people for hiring process or help them get inspired in teams, I basically ask them, because nobody goes to work for the sake of a company to go to work for the, fulfill their highest values. If they go in there and they can't see how their job duties are helping them fulfill their highest values, they're disengaged. They're not going to get to the top. They're not going to rise in the company. They're not going to be productive. They're not going to, they're going to want to take a break and back in their middle and consume and distract and get off on the internet. But the moment they can see how their job duties, their actions are helping them fulfill their highest values. They're changing their perceptions and seeing things on the way, not in the way they get back on top and they get promoted, promoted instead of demoted is the way to get to the top. And promotion means being engaged, fully inspired, creative. And when people live by their highest values, they pursue challenges. It's just like a boy who loves video games. The second he conquers a video game, he doesn't want to go and escape. He wants to go on to the next game that has more challenges to see what, he, what else he's capable of doing. But at the same time, you, when you're automatically living by your highest values and you're perceiving things on the way by the highest uh, priorities, you automatically are wanting to tackle challenges solve problems. And when you are pursuing challenges that inspire you, you wake up your genius. You have a genius inside. Don't, don't let anybody think you don't have a genius. It's just in your value structure. It may not be somebody else's. My genius is researching and teaching. It's not driving a car or racing, or it's not cooking or things. That's not high in my values. Your genius is an expression of you living congruently with your highest values. Your creativity is an expression of your highest values. Your own mission and purpose is an expression of your highest values. Your ontological being, the very essence of authenticity and integrity of yourself is living by highest values. And so by going and doing that and living by priority or highest values, you automatically awaken the getting ahead instead of getting behind in life. So if you don't fill your day with high priority actions that inspire you, entropy automatically takes over and causes decay and craziness. Think about this. In your economics. If you don't pay yourself first, you have unexpected bills to erode the potential to pay yourself last. So you have to pay yourself first. You have to prioritize the bill, the payments. If you don't make your relationship number one and compare it to everybody else, you eventually erode the relationship. It's all about prioritization. One of the questions you want to ask yourself is what is the highest priority uh, thing I can be studying today? What is the highest priority action I can be doing today? What is the highest priority perception I can take today? What are the highest priority people I can associate with today? What is the highest priority uh, uh, relationships that I can develop today? What is the highest priority ideas I can stick in my head today? Highest priority videos to watch today. It's very easy to just be bombarded by social media, which is selling sensationalism, but it may not be the highest priority and it can cause reaction and get your amygdala activated and make you go behind instead of getting ahead and make you emotion reactive. If you haven't governed your emotional reactions, don't expect to get ahead and stay ahead. And if you're not paying yourself first, don't think that you're going to get ahead. Because when you value you, so is the world. And your self-worth, anytime you're doing things high in your values, your self-worth goes up. Anytime you're doing things low in your values, your self-worth goes down. So if you want to raise your self-worth, it's about living by priority. And I say this in various ways in different presentations, but I think we need to hear it over and over again, because sometimes we're not actually living it. And until you're actually living it and actually applying it, you haven't really got it in the brain. So you want to ask yourself, what is the highest priority action I can do today that will serve the greatest number of people in the most effective and efficient manner where I can be, have a sustainable fair exchange to be able to have an income, to be able to delegate lower priority things so I can get ahead and not get behind? Because if I'm doing low priority things that are distracting me, that are unfulfilling, that devalue me, that scatter me, that frustrate me, that I procrastinate on, my self-image will go down. The key is to make sure that you're focusing on the top priority, that absolute highest, most important thing you can be doing in the moment. If you do that, you'll end up expanding yourself and you'll expand your space and time horizons and rise. If not, you'll end up shrinking, as I said. And I don't know, I, when I go and think about the shrink, I think of somebody that shrinks you, not expands you. I'm about expanding you. I want you, every time you listen to these presentations on a weekly basis, I want you to expand. I want you to give yourself permission to do something extraordinary. 
the ordinary person lives by whatever goes on around them and they're, they're, they're subordinating to the world around them. They're not the leader. But the individual that's basically living by the highest values is automatically going to be the leader. They're going to be the ones that shine, not shrink. They're the ones that are going to move forward, not backward. They're the ones that are going to be inspired to get up in the morning and tap dance to work, as Warren Buffett would say. So ask yourself, what is the highest priority thing you can be doing today that will allow you to fulfill the most meaningful thing you can do in your life? That's how you get meaning. Your executive center is objective. It is able to extract whatever happens that distracts you, which is impulses and instincts, infatuation, resentments, and find the downsides to the infatuations, find the upsides to the resentments, and equilibrate the mind, make it more objective, and make you centered and present and empowered and prioritized and purposeful. And that's the key to mastery of life. I've been setting out on since I was 18 years old, I wanted to master my own life. I learned the things that along the way. And I realized that if I help other people master theirs, I get to master mine. You want to master your life and to sort of getting the top tips for 2021 or whatever to get ahead is basically prioritization. And I've said that in different ways in different presentations and, but it all dovetails to it. You know, we're looking for somehow uh, secondary ways of getting somewhere, but the reality is that being accountable for doing what's really, really most important on a daily basis, ask yourself that question. What is the highest priority action I can do today that will serve the greatest number of people in the most efficient, effective way, in a way that inspires, and in ways that uh, is in fair exchange, so I can uh, receive compensation fairly in a sustainable way that allows me to delegate lower priority things. And if you're not delegating lower priority things, you're trapped doing those. And, uh, and the fastest way to make yourself frustrated and burn out or bored is doing low priority things. And boredom and burnout is where most people are living because they haven't learned how to live like the one percenters. The one percenters are the get up to the top highest percentage. You want to ask yourself, what's the highest priority of the highest priority of the highest priority? You know, many years ago, I, I, I was asked, I, I went up to Mary Kay for Mary Kay Cosmetics and I asked her, what is the key elements or what can I do to help myself do something as a speaker around the world? And she said, write down the six or seven highest priority actions that you can do on a uh, single basis every day that gives you the greatest results in life that helps you fulfill your dreams. And I wrote those down and I kept them on index cards and I kept the cards over time. And then when I went back over the cards, I went back and found out what was the highest priorities of the highest priorities, of the highest priorities. In my case, it came out research, write, travel, teach. So then I realized that my job is to go and research, write, travel, teach and let go of everything else. I was, listen, I was just asked to be on a program called Legends, which is a summit on uh, legendary speakers. And um, Bob Proctor was on there. And Bob Proctor was saying that he learned many years ago, 28 years ago, so about the same time I did. Mine was about 35 years ago. Uh, but he basically he's learned it. He says, I, my job is to research and teach and travel. <laughs> and I, I smiled as he said it. I was going, we were on the same path. And he's 86 going on 87. And he's still cranking it out. And that's because he's, he found out what his priority is. He's been very remunerated by it. He's been very blessed by it. And he's found out what he loves doing. And I'm, I'm sure that if you stop right now and identify that, that's why I have people go on my, my value determination process on my website to make sure that they go and get clear about their values. If you've not done my web, gone on the website and go to determine your values by Dr. Martini there, do that and do it again a week from now and a month from now and a quarter from now and every quarter from now and keep it current and look at the progress of it and be honest with the answers. There's 13 questions you want to ask yourself because if you ask those questions and do those accurately, you'll know what really is important to you and what you spontaneously love doing and what inspires you and that it's going to be the one where you're going to excel. And if you do that, you're going to ex expedite the process of getting the top and the tip and the head in the sense. And if you get ahead in life and you raise to the rise to the occasion, if you will, uh, you're the leader. And that's by basically identifying what your values are and prioritizing your daily life, changing your perceptions to fit the highest values, changing your actions and your decisions to know which is which. Either go do what you love through delegation or love what you do through linking. Linking means linking how what you're experiencing today or what job you're doing. How is it helping you get what you want in life, your highest value in life? If you link everything to your highest priority and you do everything by priority, there's no way you won't rise to the top. It's just that simple. You know, people are looking for some sort of other magic bullets, but it's really that simple. 
I, I learned that when I was 27 years old, I learned very clearly that if I prioritize my life and I delegate the rest, I get more freed up energy. Your energy goes up because you're doing something you love now. Your income goes up, which is you get remunerated more effectively. You're able to delegate things so you feel more like a leader and you don't feel bogged down and scattered. Instead of multitasking, which scatters you, you're super tasking by looking at how all the people you've delegated to is helping you get what you want. You're living by the most meaningful and most powerful uh, ways of living and you're, you're rising, you're ending up at the top. And that's the key. That's the very highest priority thing you could be doing. So I just want to go over that mechanism and realize that your brain is gonna, it's a telos highest value seeking organ. It's doing everything it can to help you do that. In fact, every one of your symptoms, every one of your, your intuitive responses, everything in your social life and everything in those events in your life are really trying to get you there. If you stop and look and take an inventory of everything that's going on in your life, believe it or not, all those, your physiology, psychology, sociology, and even your theology around you is all guiding you to the authentic mission of living by highest priorities. And when you get that and you stay focused on that, you feel fulfilled in life. Fulfillment is that. You know, I always say at the level of the essence of the soul, which is the tip top of your, your existence, nothing's missing in you. You have fulfillment. But down in your senses, your existential world of your senses, because of all the judgments that you have and all because of the, the amygdala, the hindbrain or whatever, you go around and you judge. And when you judge, you're too proud or too humble to admit what you see in others inside you. And you end up having these voids of disempowerment and disownment. And these voids leave emptiness. And so if you don't live by priority, you go down there and you live in the hell, you might say. The hell is basically expecting others to live in your values or you to live in other people's values. And the heaven is when you realize that that well, you're grateful and you're you're getting a tip on life because you're grateful because things are on the way, not in the way, because everything you're doing is on the way and everything you're perceiving is on the way and every decision you make is on the way. That's how you live your life to the fullest. That's the key to fulfillment, filling full the mind from the emptinesses of the judgments that we hold ourselves back with. So instead of taking time to go buy into the social media right now and being distracted by sensationalism of mass media, which is ignorance in most cases, misinformation, skewed subjective biases. Don't distract yourself by that. Ask yourself, what is the highest priority thing I can be reading? Highest priority thing I can be at doing? Highest priority individual I can be focusing on? What's your highest priority client? What, what, what is the highest priority of the client? What is the highest priority thing you could do to fulfill that client? If you do, you're going to expand. And if you're not serving people, don't expect fulfillment because part of our we have a sensory cortex and the motor cortex. The sensory cortex is for rewards. The motor cortex is for service. And if we're not serving people, we're not going to have fulfillment in life. We have, we, that's an essential component. So the highest priority thing we can do to serve the greatest values and the greatest number of people, that's the thing that you want to be focusing on. So I just want to take a few moments to go over the, the top tip <laughs> to get ahead in 2021. And that top tip is really your highest priority, your highest value the highest perception you can make in a day. And if you stick to that every day, you know, that it was Gary Keller in his The One Thing book, he said, you find the one thing and stick to it. Well, that one thing, that priority, uh, that number one prior is, is, the, uh, is the key. So stop, reflect on that and decide and go on my website and do the value determination, determine what that is and get onto that. Mine is teaching and research. I know what it is. I stick to it. It's taken me. Um, if you do that, you'll build momentum. You'll keep building incremental expansions in space and time of your outreach and influence. You'll grow your wealth. You pay yourself first. Um, you'd be surprised where that takes you. So I just want to give you that tip for the day. And, uh, and also, I just want to also give you an extra little gift, uh, give you a tithe, if you will. And that is a, a free gift that's called uh, Awaking Your Astronomical Vision. And the purpose of this, and I'm I really believe that if you'll go and listen to this over and over again, not just once, but maybe four or five or six times, like most people are doing, uh, it will open up a doorway of an expanded vision of what's possible for you. You'll see a bigger vision. And the bigger your vision, the bigger your life, the bigger your legacy, the bigger the difference you'll make, and the greater the rewards in the seven areas of your life that you'll make. Because if you expand in all seven areas, uh, you'll get the reward of that. When you're going out looking for a relationship, you're looking for the best deal. You're looking for a, a partner that's empowered in all areas. And if you empower in all areas, you get the best deal out there in life. So this little gift 
a value of $50, just go to demartini.fm slash gift or dash gift slash gift uh, to claim it. Watch it. Let's, I mean, pardon me, listen to it over and over again. I promise you it's a, it was a, a live presentation I did at a planetarium to a group of executive leaders on how to expand their vision and make a bigger difference. I don't know of anybody that doesn't want to make a difference. And I'm certain that that little, that little audio program right there, listen to multiple times is going to make you think and it's going to expand you. Um, make sure you live by priority. I say that again and again, you'll hear me probably when I'm a hundred years old, you'll be hearing me say that because that's the key. I wouldn't be where I am today in my opportunities today if it wasn't for me learning that principle. So I just want to take the thing that's helped my life and pass it on and share it with you because I know if you will do that same thing, it will make a difference in your life and you will have the top tips to get ahead for 21, but for really the rest of your life. You master the habit of that and you, there's no stopping it. So I look forward to seeing you at the next uh, masterclass and uh, thank you for joining me on this program and get to priority, get to get on with it. And please go on my website, take advantage of the value determination and definitely get the gift. Grab the astronomical vision um, gift because that can definitely start your week off with a bang. Thank you for joining me for this presentation today. If you found value out of the presentation, please go below and please share your comments. We certainly appreciate that feedback. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icons. That way I can bring more content to you and share more to help you maximize your life. I look forward to our next presentation. Thank you so much for joining.